Good morning, good morning. <sighs> I apologize, I'm a little late. Uh, and yesterday I didn't get on because I was in the midst of some uh, a meeting. And a little late this morning, I had to cut one of the pastors here <laughs> just now. But I thank God for you all. If you have all have been listening uh, for the past uh, few days, I have been speaking on purpose and destiny. Uh, I can get right into it. Uh, Father God, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for this time, this opportunity. For everybody who has joined in with me on today. And for that, Lord God, I'm giving you all the glory, the honor, and praise in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. Father God, I speak nothing but increase, favor, and overflow in the lives of your people. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. Um, purpose, as I spoke on yesterday, is the reason for which something exists or is done or made. Um, destiny is something that is to happen or has happened to a particular person or thing. In other words, uh, it's predetermined. Uh, destiny is like, uh, it's, it's something that's predetermined. Like you were predetermined to do something even before the foundations of this world uh, is, uh, happens over a course of events. Uh, at different points in our lives, we all become curious about what our future holds. And uh, we wonder who we will be, where we will go, and what we will do in the future. Uh, we will make a difference in the world. I know we all want to make a difference in this world. Swipe and invite your uh, followers. This is what I talked about uh, Wednesday. Uh, people often fail to recognize the difference between purpose and destiny. They use the term destiny when they should be using purpose or vice versa. Uh, or they use the two terms interchangeably as if they were identical or equivalent concepts. But the two concepts are different, though they are related. I'm going back over my notes from Wednesday. Uh, let me see, because I'm, 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 I'm going to go through it in order to get to where I am, where I'm going to go over today. While it is possible to achieve purpose without achieving destiny, it is impossible to achieve destiny without purpose. This means that it is possible to be working hard towards achieving personal goals and objectives that do not contribute to and can even be in direct conflict with, okay, uh, your, your, with your destiny. As a result, you can go through life achieving things that provide some transitory level of satisfaction, and in the end, come to realize that nothing that you have achieved truly makes you happy or satisfied. Now, that was purpose and destiny. Now, the, uh, I'm going to go to this one. That was what I talked about Wednesday. That was just a little brief, a little brief thing. Uh, discovering your purpose and destiny, being in your element. I talked about this on Thursday. In Romans chapter 12, verse 3, verse 6 through 8, it says, For I say, though the grace given unto me to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly uh, than he ought to think. It keeps freezing. Yeah, that's that, that's that internet. That internet is, is doing that to me. I apologize, but it's going to continue to record on my end, and I will forward it immediately to my uh, YouTube uh, page. Why is it important to find your destiny? And I will get to that. Uh, I will get to that. Be in your element. Discover your purpose and your destiny. Like I said yesterday, when you are in your element, you are in your place where you're happy. Your uh, element is used to describe the place where things we love to do and things we are good at come together. Each one of us must find our element. That's like uh, they used to say, you're like a fish out of water. A fish is out of water. He's outside of his element. Uh, I remember I used to go out in the club. I used to go out in the club and have fun. I used to do this and do that in the club. If I were to go inside of a club today, I would be uncomfortable because I am outside of my element. Uh, what is your purpose? What is your destiny? 
Uh, the fact is that there is a difference between your purpose and your destiny. Now watch this. Your destiny is your ultimate election. All right. Your purpose is your present call. Okay. Your, the fact that there's a difference, your destiny is your ultimate election. Your purpose is the present call. Okay. What did God choose you to do ultimately on this earth? What is your ultimate election? What were you elected to do before you were born? You know, everybody was born for a reason. Everybody was born and called from what a purpose. So uh, that's what, you, what were you elected to do before you were born? Okay. That's what your destiny is. What is your purpose? Your purpose is whatever you are called to do right now, this very moment. My purpose right now is to uh, speak on this periscope right now. You know, but I'm called, I know where, I, where I'm at right now, but at the same time, I know once, I, I know where I'm trying to go. I know where I'm going. I know where I'm going to be at. And I talked about King David. Before King David was called to be king, King David was out there, uh, you know, the devil is busy this morning. You know, uh, King David was one of those guys that was in his element. Uh, yeah, I'm going to get to that too. I'm going to get to that too, because listen to me clearly. If we are not careful, we can abort what we have been called to do. It's like terminating an early pregnancy. Okay. King David was one of those guys that was in his element when he was in the field with his, with his harp. He used to play the harp. He was in the field and he was taken out of the field and went to, to a palace. Easy. But when he got to the palace, what happened? He wound up committing the uh, fornicating and sleeping with, with the woman, with Bathsheba and everything. But at the same time, he wound up building uh, Mount Zion. If God knows our plan and how things would end up, what's the point of praying for things? Uh, what's the point of praying for things? That's you su You're supposed to pray. I don't know. You know that's, that's how all we know is what we've been taught. And what we've been taught isn't all there is to know. That is why it is a must that we constantly read the word. We pray for things to happen. We pray to God not for uh, what he can do for us, but also who he is. We pray because if it wasn't for him, we wouldn't be where we are today. You know, our prayer can change, you know. We, but you can change that. You can change that. You know, you can change your, your whole down. God can have a plan for you in your life. And what happens? I'm going to talk about Jonah for a quick second. Jonah was supposed to go do one thing, but he wound up doing his own thing. And what happened? He wound up in a place where he didn't have no business in the belly of a whale. I always put myself in this, in this situation. I was uh, supposed to be doing one thing. But I wound up doing another. I was called to do one thing, but I eventually I, I wanted to do my own thing and got in the street, sold dope, and, and sold uh, whatever it was, and wind up in prison. Ten years of my life. So I was called to do one thing, but I redirected my path somewhere else. And that's what prayer does. It changes things. So once I started uh, praying, it wound up redirecting my path and put me right back on a path where I was predestined to be before the foundations of the world. I wasn't uh, predestined to sell dope. I wasn't predestined to go to jail. But because of my own uh, acts of selfishness, I ended up doing those things. And it, I ended up in an uh, unusual place somewhere where... I had no business being. So what is your call? What is your call? What is your purpose? What are you called to do right now? Okay. And be saying. Uh, oh. So uh David was called to be an armor bearer and a psalmist musician for King Dave, for King Saul. That was his temporary purpose. Your purpose is always temporary, uh, always changing, but always promoting your destiny. Your purpose always changing. But it always promote. You always stay on the right path in order to get to your destiny. That's what it was all about. So that brings me now today, purpose and destiny. What is purpose? Now we're going to go deep into this thing. What is purpose? The Hebrew word uh, well, for purpose and destiny, the Hebrew word for 
purpose in the Greek is kephets. The Hebrew word for purpose in the Greek is kephets. Meanwhile, it's a pleasure. Hence, it's a desire, a valuable thing. Kephets as a noun means pleasure, delight, desire, request, a fair thing. This word often means pleasure or delight. Had the Lord as great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifice as in obeying the voice of the Lord. 1 Samuel 15, 22. Thus, the preacher, writer of Ecclesiastes, sought to find out acceptable kephets, or purpose, words, and that which was written was upright, even words of truth. So, Ecclesiastes 12 and 10, words that were brought, uh, both true and aesthetically pleasing. A good wife works with hands of delight. She works with purpose. Or our uh, hands which delight in her work because of her love of her family. Pur purpose can mean not simply what one takes pleasure in or what gives someone delight, but one's wish or desire. Although my house uh, be not so with God, yet he had made with me an everlasting covenant, ordered in all things and sure, for this is all my salvation and all my desire. All he make and not to grow. That's in 2 Samuel 23 and 5. So, the what is your purpose? Purpose is something that you desire. Purpose is something that you take pleasure of. That is your purpose. Uh, to one's desire is to grant a request. 1 Kings 5 and 8. Stones of desire are precious stones. Isaiah 54 and 12. Confess or purpose sometimes represents one's affairs as that in which one takes delight. There is a time to every purpose, literally delight, under the heaven, Ecclesiastes 3 and 1. There's a time and a season. There's a time and a purpose for everything underneath the sun. Your purpose is going to drive you into your destiny. You may be right now working on a job, doing one thing, but your purpose will drive you to your destiny, to what it is that you have been called to do. I never imagined myself delivering the word of the Lord, but hey, praise the Lord, right now today, I'm doing it. I'm working uh, 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 according to my purpose, but at the same time, striving for my destiny to do what it is that I was predestined to be before the foundation of the world to help some people get saved, to, to win more souls to the kingdom. So that word purpose is that. So now the word destiny, destiny Another word for destiny is predestined. The Greek word, which means prorizizo, in a sense of foreseeing a person or a thing. Where you see yourself in the future is your destiny. Where do you see yourself in the future? You see yourself living in that nice home, uh, family, everybody straight. It's uh, predestined. Uh, that, that's what the Greek word for that means, prorizo. Predetermined, this word denotes to mark out beforehand, to determine before, foreordained, meaning your, you, what your, your destiny is your future or where you see yourself. Some people, you know, they, they desire, they wanna, they're going to be happy, they're going to be married, they're going to do this, they're going to do that. They, 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 their purpose is going to drive them into their destiny. So in order, on their path into getting to their destiny, while their purpose for a woman is trying to be a, a, a wife, she's going to be doing everything that is possible for she can do and get ready, preparing her for to be the wife. So purpose and destiny. Brings us back. Okay. You don't have to be confined by bars. You don't have to be confined by the words of people. You don't have to be confined by hatred, jealousy, or competition. No matter where they place you, you will still prosper because your destiny dictates your present circumstances. Many of people or many of you don't realize that if you keep your eye on your destiny and you fulfill your present purpose, which is... Whatever you are called to do, whether mopping floors somewhere or working a menial job, you will be happy while on your journey to your position in life. Your purpose and your destiny, your purpose and your destiny. You know, some people, many people think it's the same thing, but they're different, they're different. All things work together for the good, for them who are called, which is their, you know, which is their purpose. 
2 Peter 1 and 10, therefore, brother, be even more diligent to make your call and your election sure. For if you do these things, you will not stumble. When you are sure of your call and you are sure of your election, you will never stumble. The word stumble there doesn't mean that you're not going to sin and you're not going to make a mistake. It just means that you may fall down, you may make a mistake, but you will ultimately rise up. And you will get back on track because your call and your destiny will restore you. That's what it is. That's what it is. So I hope I'm helping somebody this morning. I know the screen keep going on and off, on and off. Uh, I'm going to have to pick it back on this, on this particular topic because the past three days I've been talking about purpose and destiny. So uh, I have to get back to work right now. But... Go back and on my YouTube page, the first two, uh, purpose versus Thursday with purpose versus destiny, and then uh, difference between purpose and destiny. Uh, today I just gave you the Greek uh, and uh, the Hebrew word for purpose and destiny, uh, and I want everybody to know that I, I'm starting this another job next week, so I'm gonna be do I'm, I'm gonna probably be doing my uh, periscopes like in the morning. I might move to have to shift to the morning like 6.30 in the morning. If I don't do it at 6.30, that means I'm going to have to do it at 9.30 or 9 o'clock at night. Because I'm going to start, I saw this, this other chapter in my life uh, dealing with uh, mental health uh, issues. So I thank God for you all who have joined it with me today. Uh, I'm going I'm to finish talking about this uh, next Monday. Uh, yeah, Monday, Monday. I, I, this is this is a this is a good topic dealing with purpose and destiny. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for those who have joined in with me today. I pray, Father God, in Jesus' name, and I continue to speak increased favor and overflow in their life. In Jesus' name, Lord God, thank you, thank you, thank you. Now I just pray, Father God, that you continue to open up some doors that no man can shut. Father God, I pray, Father God, that families, that houses. Uh, line up in, a, in Jesus' name in the homes, Father God. I pray that you strengthen marriages in Jesus' name. Father God, I just pray that you just have your way in the lives of your people in Jesus' name, Father God. Let your heavenly angels that camp round about them. I pray that you just strengthen them in the weak areas. Build them up in the areas where they are so much torn down in Jesus' name. Give me all the glory, all of the honor, all of the praise and Father God right now. I pray for those who have not yet Discover what their purpose is in this life. Father God, I pray, Father God, that they just seek your face and ask what it is that they have to do to get to where they are going. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen.